thank you. Um, I don't suppose I need to welcome all of you since you're already here. Um, but anyway, welcome to the, the last session. And I believe everything has gone on quite long. So we'll make up for some of the lost time by cutting a bit of this session short. Um, we're going to talk about IPR, and we have five speakers. I thought I would just um, introduce the issue briefly. And what I just wanted to mention was that this is one of the subjects which is caught in a whole lot of philosophical and ethical debates uh, about the nature of property, nature and meaning of property. And intellectual property is, of course, not like other kinds of property. Uh, and the general assumption is uh, that it should not be individually held, or the general belief is that intellectual property cannot actually be easily individually held in the way that other forms of property can. And it wasn't until legal systems were brought in to actually identify what property, intellectual property was, and what its ownership was, that this whole thing began to change. But this legacy that we carry with it is also uh, what um, so strengthens the hands of those horrible people called pirates who use the argument of the, um, the need to reach out intellectual property to profit from it while pretending to be actually doing a social good. And it's a very powerful argument that resonates a lot with people who use uh, intellectual property materials. So I'm hoping that we might be able to um, look a little bit um, at this. Uh, then I think, um, you know, they, I'm hoping that we might be able to look at the changes that have come about in uh, the way intellectual property is looked upon because of many developments in the world around us. One is the development of authorship as an individual enterprise. The other is the growth and spread of publishing. Um, the third is the growth and spread of international trade and trade in books and the international agreements that we have between us. Uh, and then, not to be dismissed at all, the growth and spread of technology and what it does to this whole question of intellectual property rights. So we have uh, five speakers, and we are going to, the way we're going to do it is that we're going to go from looking at the whole question of publishing, um, moving from publishing to authorship to the issues raised by technology and its use particular, and, and the intellectual, the problems that come up uh, with intellectual property, particularly in academic spaces, because we have somebody who has experience of that. I'm going to ask uh, Uden Mitra to start. Uh, Uden is um, senior editor. I don't know his exact designation because I've known him too long as a friend and as my um, editor. Uden is the one who worked on my work uh, when it was published by Penguin. Uh, and uh, he is going to speak a little bit on the history of uh, copyright and how it obtains uh, in book publishing. And Uden, I'm going to give you. 10 minutes, um, and yeah. if that's, uh, and I'll stop you when we're close to that. That's sure. it. 